It's the malodorous residue of the corporeal form of the formerly diabolical, villainous, fiendish, malevolent, and just plain annoying Shroudy von Kiefer! Oh, Shroudy! Yes, my love? I have something to tell you. I shall hang on your every word, my delicate dark blossom. I just wanted to say, I hate you for what you have done to me. I think you are a horrible, horrible, uh, thing. You need to die right now and get out of my way. And when I say die, I mean rot in heck forever. Forever, do you hear me? Rot in heck and darn you for all eternity. Mona, don't sugarcoat it. Tell them how you really feel. I would rather die than have to touch Shroudy von Kiefer. Uh, Mona, you're already dead. It's the boathouse gate. Gate? Isn't it more of a portcullis? Open... Poppy seed! Poppy oh, seed? Well, sesame just seems so cliché. I can't open it. Shroudy's in the way. It's one of the boats Shroudy uses to get back to the mainland. Look at that thing. It gives me nightmares. That boat just might be our ticket out of here. Hey, boat! I hope that soon you'll be making another run. If I could use the boat without oars, I would have already run over there and jumped into it. I'm not hanging around this castle because I enjoy the decor. It's a suit of armor that seems to be made of... Is that cardboard? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Edgar told me that the old witch was running low on money, so she started selling stuff from the castle and replacing it with cardboard duplicates. What did she spend the money on? The torture chamber. Hello? Is anybody in there? Poor guy. He seems so stiff. Maybe we should put some oil on him. You think so? Sure. Then we just need to find a scarecrow and a lion, and we're good to go. They are very large, very sharp axes. Oh! Maybe we should use it to cut Shroudy into pieces. I don't think that'll work. Shroudy's nothing more than a swirling pile of black mist. Well, maybe we should grab it and wave it really fast in front of him so that he blows away. Well, I don't hear you making any suggestions. You want me to ask it a few questions? I'm not going to fight Shroudy with an axe. This situation calls for more brains than brawn. If you ask me, I don't think it would hurt if you took a few whacks at him with an axe. It's a bowl of sugar. People use it to make things sweeter. You're so sweet. This looks like something I might be able to use eventually. It's some sort of pewter cup with a lid and straw. Very odd. It's just a sippy cup used by little kids so they don't spill their drink. I bet this was Shroudy's. Shroudy's baby cup? He still uses it? If you hadn't noticed, the guy was a little weird. I like talking to things on occasion, but not with that. I don't think I'll need the cup, but the straw might be useful. It's a butter knife. You are such a cute little knife. I think maybe I'll give you a name. Take this knife. I think I might need it. It's a 
large brass wagon wheel with a bunch of candles stuck into it. Actually, Mona, it's called a chandelier. Chandelier, wheel wagon. You say tomato and I say shut the hell up. How many vampires does it take to screw in a candle? I don't know. How many? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'd say one. Seems like a pretty easy job if you ask me. I'm no monkey. It's a four-legged structure commonly used to prevent one's backside from hitting the floor. What has two arms and four legs? A chair? You got it! However, I would have also accepted the pile of body parts in the corner of the Von Kiefer family torture chamber. I don't have time to sit down right now. I need to get out of this castle! a picture of the Baron von Kiefer. So a woman standing next to him must be the Baroness. She has a very strange look on her face. I think the artist was trying to capture a subtle, I'm going to murder this poor bastard as soon as I get a chance sort of feeling. I'd say he succeeded. I only speak to art that speaks to me. This one is speaking to me. It's saying, throw me out. I don't want to ruin it. Oh, maybe I do, but I'm too lazy to pull it down and throw it into the fire. Shroudy always keeps the fireplaces lit. You are so hot. Curious if this curse I'm under could actually grow back a hand that was burned off. But I'm fairly certain it would be incredibly painful. Oh, look! What an impressive carving! I wonder who it's supposed to be. I believe that's Dara Flame, the Greek god of fireplaces. Oh, come on! You're making that up, aren't you? No, I'm serious. I read about it in my mythology book. Uh, Dara Flame was Achilles' cousin. He fought in the Battle of Troy and was felled when he was struck with a fireplace poker in the shin. Hello, Mr. Statue. Hmm, no reply. What's the matter? Sculptor got your tongue? He's just stuck up. Uh, there. I better not. Some of the statues around here almost seem to be alive. I don't want to get my fingers bitten off. <laughs> 